bandidos en la noche yo que mando aquí. Ven acá, suelte mami, así me gusta soto. Siete copas, una juca tequila. Sal y sal y sal y sal y perrear. No tienes vergüenza, mami. Baby, quiero ser el río de tu Tokio. Chingamos en la casa de papel sin negocio. Esta vida nunca se acaba la fiesta. Comiéndote todo el día que se joda esa dieta. Hasta ahora soco, 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 ya. Hasta ahora soco, 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 All right, hey honey buns, welcome back to the channel. It's your first time here ever, welcome for the first time. I'm Mila Vanderbilt. Today we're doing Second Life Things. We are getting into more role play shenanigans. I've learned a lot about my story and I told y'all we would get together, do a tutorial, set some things up together, get our lives started. Is there a playback happening? Have y'all been hearing playback this whole time? I am sorry. Let's see. Anyway, <laughs> how are you guys? If you're here, say hi in chat so I can say hello to you. Let me get my chat. Happy hump day. I'm mad that was there was playback the whole time. Let me scroll up. All right, I see Thana, Colleen, Ronnie, Red Sonia. Is it Rayox? Slim, April, Adonis, Parker, Colleen, Coco Bunny, Choco Bunny, Brooklyn, Waffles, Carmen, Camaro, Yam. Streamlabs showed up for work today. Uh, did I miss anyone? Kiara, Mia. Kevin, hey, Lena. All right, Nicole, Familia, N NT Familia. Margie, did I say that right? Story, Ika. Happy hump day, y'all. Happy middle of the work week. All right, let's do this. Oh, Ray, is it Ray or Rye? Ray, I love that. Hey, Castle, how are you guys? I'm excited for tonight. I might do a giveaway. We'll see. We'll see what we're feeling. Ciao. I'm trying to find my ear. This is me searching for an ear. All right. So today I'm going to, I've been wearing my head for a few days. I've cooked a few meals. So clearly I'm an expert. I'm joking, but we're going to figure it out. Um, I did also get affiliate scripts. So I'll kind of show you how to do all of that. It's super easy. It's so easy. So we'll just have fun. It'll be chill. I think my character is current or my avatar is currently in the bathroom. She is. Let me, hold on. Thank you, Castle. How, have you guys been playing this or using the HUD? How are we feeling it? Okay. For some reason, I feel off. Like my screens are twisted. They're weird. Anyway, I'm in the bathroom. We've made some, I've made a few more updates to Bayside as well. So I'm gonna go upstairs and show you. Y'all know I always struggle with stats. I'm about to like die of thirst. <laughs> None of my stats, well, no, my consonants did zero out because I was sitting on a toilet and I went AFK and I wasn't even on a toilet that had it on it. But um, my stats have been decent. I'm gonna show you all the things about the HUD. I'm gonna make a quick run over to the My Story Sim so you guys can know where to get like your starter goodies too. Hey Kaylee, how are you? Raina just told me about your fridge script. I gotta test it out. We're gonna go to my kitchen too, so. Oh, I love that waffles. Growing like crazy, girl. I have seen some of y'all farms. Some of y'all sent me like landmarks to check out your farms. I keep sending them, cause I do wanna see them. But um, I love it. 
And yeah, that's low key me. Cause I leave my avatar online so often, just AFK. And I don't even think about it. Like I just walk away and I went out last night. I went to a club last night. I left her just standing here with her HUD on. Look at Monasia over there. Oh my God, Monasia, come to Onyx. Hey, GG. All right. I'm gonna go upstairs to Onyx cause we're gonna cook. And I saw that someone put produce out and I'm gonna get ingredients. But I'm gonna show you how to cook. I know we did it on stream before, but I was so confused. I didn't know what I was doing. So I wanna start over. <laughs> this is Onyx. So this is a rooftop bar. It's so funny. Cause I just had this sitting here since like last summer and had no plans for it. Cause I was like, we don't use anything. Excuse me. Also, I need to say, I updated my graphics driver today and I was in Second Life when I did it. So it like caused me to crash and it made all of my Black Dragon settings reset to default and I don't remember what they were. So my viewers are struggling a little bit. I gotta sort it out. But this is Onyx. So there are a couple of things that we're doing in Bayside. First of all, this is Onyx. This is gonna be like our kind of permanent farmer's market type vibe. We are gonna do a farmer's market because you guys know I've been like itching to do another farmer's market. But there are already people, I haven't even like really gotten into this, but there are already people putting produce things out. So this is great for me because I don't plan on farming quite yet. So I can buy all my ingredients for my recipes. I see there's another girl setting up right now. If you guys wanna come here, here, just come here. Just finish your third, your three parcel farm rentals, woo. Farms are fun. It's funny cause uh, Reyna has a spare sim that she's not using and she was like, should we just make it a farm? <laughs> Here's Onyx. Also we made it so this week cause we're trying to encourage people who have my story businesses to like, or people who have businesses to use my story or pe people that wanna come here. All the business um, rentals in the city are free this week. So come grab one. Come grab yourself a free rental. Like all of them, the food trucks, the restaurants, these booths up here, this little thing in the middle, this could be, I don't, it really doesn't matter. I said, oh, it's rented. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, that was rented, but you know, I thought it'd be cool to put a greenhouse right on top because everything's like about growing. He is. I actually asked him to come over because I needed social. And I haven't been using products for social. I really just wanted to come from people right now. But then I went to the bathroom. We weren't close enough. So I'm just going to stand here and stalk him out getting social. She's setting up too. Oh my gosh. She has little registers. I am so excited. I think she's putting meals out. I'm here for it. I am so here for it. Okay. I'm going to go... Where do I want to go? I think I might go to Sean's Skybox, not going to lie, because I set his up for Zeo Life and his is in the sky. And I'm having viewer issues, so may as well go to the sky. Also, I had this item mesh like last year to sell a product that's a, like a Valentine's Day product, and I never released it. So I'm going to make it my story and release it this year. Is it this one? He's always chilling. Sean is opening a, a My Story business too. I can't wait to share it with y'all, but I'm gonna like let him get it together first before I share it prematurely. But it looks, it's gonna be so cool. Y'all gonna love it. All right, so let's get into it. If you're brand new to My Story or role play systems, basically in Second Life, to kind of help gamify our Second Life experience and really just like give us unlimited things to do, a lot of us like to use role play systems. So role play systems are usually some sort of combination of like a HUD and like, I don't know what you call that, overhead text that basically monitors like your well-being statistics. So everything that kind of makes it like The Sims. So you have to eat, you have to drink, you have to use the restroom, stay on top of your hygiene. You need to like be happy, social. What we love about my story is like, it's kind of combined elements of a lot of the previous role play systems that we really loved. And it's made it really accessible, really easy to use, really inexpensive. I think that's the biggest one. It's so easy to get started and just like really kind of get as creative as you want with it. A lot of the scripts are incredibly flexible. Like I said, I looked at the affiliate scripts and everything. It's really easy to use. And I think that's so important to get started. So 
What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to show you the actual HUD. I actually should have just started at the My Story store because they have some goodies for free. I'm gonna show you the HUD, show you how to use it, show you how to get your basic necessities, and then we'll go from there. I also wanna talk about like business and business ideas and how to use these for business and all that good stuff. All right. Did I miss Sean coming into chat or are we just saying that to him? Cause he claims that I always ignore him when he's in chat, but I legit never see his name. Let's start with the My Story Sim first. Which I forgot to link in the last video. We will do it today. I know I was there today, there it is. <laughs> hey Sonia, how are you? If anyone saw my story last night, don't judge me for having the same outfit on. I was only in it for like an hour. We might help her out. I don't know if Rain is on. All right. So I am gonna drop this landmark. It'll be in the description. I'll do it this time. I won't forget. Um, here's this. You can help out via chat, Yams. You're good. Unless you want to help this new renter. There's a renter in Vandermeer. Oh wait, no. Reyna is on, I think. What is happening? Why is that? Does this happen to anyone else? You got all your notifications after you've been online for hours. Okay, let's bring our draw distance down. Okay, basically in here. I also have a bunch of these out in Bayside so you can grab the system. I do recommend coming here though if you're doing it for the first time because you can also get some freebies, which I'll show you. They come with just some of your basic necessities like items to cook with and then there's also items to get started with farming and all that. I have not even looked at all of that stuff yet, but you can grab free things. You started Monday, that's awesome. It was fun, it's fun. I started, what was that? When do you stream it, Sunday? That was my first time. So this, you just click it, you'll get it. It's a free system. Hey Mad, how are you? I know these aren't resing for me. I've been having trouble with textures since I reset my whole viewer. I think I'm gonna have to do a whole Black Dragon video since I'm like starting fresh again. But these three things are free. They're like free items that you can start with, including scripts, so you can script your own home and your furniture, which I'm gonna show you how to do. Um, over here somewhere, because I'm not resing, but over here are the affiliate scripts. So if you're planning to like make food or furniture or different things, you can really customize like the stats. So the percentage of like health or happiness or rest that someone gets from products, um, which I'm gonna show you, but this is where you get all the stuff from. Affiliate scripts, I think are $19.99. And then this other, this stuff, this is free. There are some products to purchase. I'm not even gonna start there yet because you can really start base level and kind of continue building. Yeah, I'll do a Black Dragon video child because whew, I'm still trying to figure out my settings. <laughs> All right, so this is my store. This is the store. I linked it, go check it out. Um, I'm gonna go to a Skybox, Sean Skybox. Oh, that's where I am. And then I'll show you kind of what I did to get started. I do already have the system on. I think, I don't know if I can show you the super basics of how to like install it when you put it on. I did that in the last video, but there are instructions. It's super easy. Raina did it in like half a second. She got hers today, but let's put this open. When you click that little sign thing, this is what you're gonna get. To level five, girl, it's taking me a week to get to level two. I'm not even at level two. How many XP, are there 50 XP for, per level? I'm in a rush though, I'm gonna take my sweet time. So when you get this, read the instructions, cause they are, they're super simple. It looks like a lot when you first pull it open, but it's so simple. All you need to do is one, you're gonna add the system first. So that's this bottom thing. You add that first, you're gonna select your gender. Then you're gonna detach it, reattach it, cause it like needs to register or do its thing. Am I missing playing my stories? It's been poorly for three days, not able to log on. You'll be fine, Sarah, it's not going anywhere. So once you reattach the system, attach the HUD. The HUD looks like this over here. Can y'all see that? Yeah, it looks like this over here. It has all of your stats on it. Um, and then there are a bunch of different settings on this HUD too. There's this inventory button. This usually shows you like what you have in your inventory to do like cooking and stuff with. But the first time you ever put this on, you need to click that on. 
you don't need to, or click that, you don't need to do anything for it. So just click the inventory button and then you detach everything and then put it all back on and then you're good to go. So like, it's just a little bit of process to get you, I guess, like registered on the back end. But once that's done, you're good to go. You're all set. A hundred to get to level three. Oh God, I'm never, I'm never leveling up. <laughs> 50 times the amount your level is. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, that's fun. I'm, it's going to take me some time. So the first thing I did was I knew I wanted like my home to be kind of comfortable in one of those goodie bags. You have starter scripts for furniture um, and use scripts. I haven't really used the use scripts yet, but you have all these starter scripts for like all the things that you're going to need in your HUD. I just started dragging those to all my furniture. So as long as you have furniture that is modifiable, you can put it in here. So for this one, I put in, I think the energy. Yeah, we put energy in the sofas. You can like do whatever you want. Make it as creative as you want. For both the sofas, we put energy. For the table, we didn't want energy. We put happiness on there. Um, the office, I think we put happiness because we were like, oh, if you're working, I guess you're kind of satisfied. And then of course the bed, he has a bed up here. We put energy in that. We scripted his bathroom, his toilet has consonants, his sink has hygiene. His shower isn't real, so we couldn't, well, it's real, but I don't know where the root perma is, so we didn't script that. That's what's up. For the furnace place in the base side, I'm going to go back and add the scripted ones too. Liz, it is just as simple as Zeolife. But there's a, there's a couple more features. Like Zeolife, I don't think... Does Zeolife have happiness? I don't remember. I know Zeolife didn't have social. I love the social thing. I'm going to give you guys ideas for that. Oh my God, I'm going to die of thirst. I put this out here because like, I know, I know I die. I'm going to just drink this real quick. <laughs> I'm at 3%. But yeah, basically once you're home, you can get all of these different stats. I'm gonna show you how to get like your hunger and your thirst up. We're gonna cook together in just a second. You put continents in the sofa. <laughs> you just paint out your sofa. Hey Slayla, Slayla. I do it every time. How are you? Is this half happiness? Okay. You know what I didn't know about is the sick percentage because mine has been at 100 since I put it on, but Sean's was like at 50 and he said, you're 100% sick, you're sick. And I was like, no, I think it's supposed to be at 100, right? I don't know. Social's fun. You can get items and products for social, but um, personally, I like just being around other people. I feel like it gives us a reason to be next to each other. I'm gonna go back up to Onyx. I am putting social stats though in all the stuff at Onyx. So if you just wanna go hang out at Onyx and get social, you can do that. Or you can just like stand around. But we'll see. We love to, uh, wait, what? Oh, we love no matter the system. <laughs> I'm always gonna be on death's door. You know this. Listen, I haven't even eaten in real life today. Seeing her thirst just reminded me to take some water. See, that's what I thought. So 50% sick. You need some meds. Hey, Kaliza. And sorry, correct me if I'm saying anything wrong throughout this. <laughs> um, let's cook. So also in one of these like little goodie things, right? It was in a goodie bag. I didn't buy it. Right? Hold on. You have starter items. The starter items, they come with, so these little tablet things are what you have to cook with. So you click them and they give you an option or give you options of what you can cook. Depending on your level, that like determines like what recipes you can cook and like the quantity you can cook. Starting at level one, I've got really simple recipes and I can only cook one meal at a time. Um, but in this folder, so you have your cooking level, I mean, yeah, level one cooking tablets. You have other things too, like toast, toothbrush, a water cup. Um, there's also like a little kitchen thing. Oh, cooking animations box. That was super helpful for this because this is a sky box and it doesn't have a stove. So I put that little cooking box. It's just transparent. It's a transparent box. So if I do like control alt T, you can see that it's here. I just made it completely transparent. It comes, it's a little, you can see it a little bit just so you could like see where you're placing it, but you can make it completely transparent. Put it over any stove that you have. It has different cooking animations. That's perfect for skyboxes like this that don't have any. You never go out to your character's social stat is dead. Girl, just come spend some time at Onyx. I want Onyx to be like our new happiness spot where we get super cute, show off all our little like event outfits and just socialize. 
Look, Liz, I am a professional chef at this point, so Eggs Benedict is basically like boiling an egg for me. I'm just that good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm the best chef in the sit in the on the grid. GTA language. I keep mixing everything up. Okay. So to cook, because you need to feed yourself, you just click on this. Can you see this? Yeah, this little dialogue pops up. It says kitchen. It gives you all the options of what you can cook. I'm level one. So these are all the things I can cook. You know I made burgers and fries the other day. Um, I'm gonna make a burger right now because I know I have the ingredients because I did it the other day. But I also wanna go over to Little Onyx Space and buy Honey's ingredients so I can make more stuff. So I'm hit yes. I have all the required ingredients. It's like telling me things in the bottom. Do you say that? Yeah, I can kind of see that. Um, cooking will be completed in two minutes. So it's gonna just take this two minutes to complete. And because I have everything in here, I went grocery shopping already. It's just gonna give me the product. Best driver, best chef. It's crazy. My skills are unheard of. Do you guys, should we do giveaways? Do you guys want a giveaway? I was thinking we could do a business or maybe a furnished my story skybox what do you guys want should we do a poll we'll do a free month for either that we do or a free thing you want free business for a month or a free furnished my story skybox for a month oh we should have did Barcelona was on you didn't tell me Oh, too many characters. We should have been doing a points giveaway that whole time. Let's play more music. I'll come back to it. Um, mom, mom, mom. Will you guys vote on that? We'll do. We'll do a giveaway. You'll earn points the longer you're here, and we'll do a giveaway. Usually, we do it every time I hear that song, but somehow I'm so used to that song, it was just like embedded in the back of my mind. I was not paying attention. Don't know how you're gonna fit a stove in your tiny apartment, but if there's a will, there's a way. Which apartments do you live in? I can't remember. Just give you a little like hot box. <laughs> is that what they're called? What are the like just little stoves? No, hot box is like drug things. Get a little stove top. It'll be like my GTA apartment, the first one that Mayhem had. <laughs> okay. What other animations are there? I have not even looked at this. What am I cooking again? A burger? Oh, look at a pot. The fair skybox. Oh, I feel like you can make it work. <laughs> oh, my burger's done. That was so quick. We're going to actually eat this burger because I need to put my stats up or get my stats up. I think my water should be up, yeah. Is it up? Is it finished? Is this completed? I have... Okay. I made these little drinks and they have a thousand uses apparently. I think I maxed them out at 25. How do you get ingredients? I will show you in just a second. So you could farm them. A lot of people are creating their own farms, but I'm gonna just show you where to get them if you're not gonna farm. I haven't gotten into farming yet, so we might have to do a whole video on just farming because honestly, I have no idea. But I think I might also just be able to figure it out together tonight. But you can grow them or buy them. I think I kind of want to get little chickens and put them in our backyard. <laughs> Okay, burger. Let's get it. My thirst is going up. It was at like what? Eight or six or something? The food does look good. I also was about to get a fishing rod before I went live and forgot. What do you do with the fish? I didn't look into it, I was just like, I wanna fish. Is it just an activity to do for like XP or can you cook them? For my burger, oh, it's in the same hand. It's gonna have to be in the same hand for a moment. <laughs> it looks so cute, Adonis, we're gonna, so I'm working on a space to put farm stuff out, but there are other places, like I think someone here just said they have a farm spot that they rent out. I know Reyna is um, the space to share after level three, but I cannot wait to fish and cook a meal. Shut up. 
Oh, what are y'all voting? Let me look. So far, Skybox is winning. Y'all don't want a business? I'm gonna tell you all about the businesses. Oh wait, so what level do you have to be to use the fishing rod? Oh, I didn't even click, click the burger. Let's click the burger and use it. So usually for a lot of the products that you buy, you put on the item that you want and then you click it and it'll start to use it and you'll see your stats going up and the amount of uses will be going down. So this burger is being used. We'll see how many uses it has. My drink is still going. I still have nine uses of my drink. So nine little sips. We'll see how many bites my burger has. Yeah, we're gonna definitely do, so we're gonna do a farmer's market like within a few days. The community garden, that's gonna take me a second because it's gonna be in an area that I'm still working on right now. Four, okay. So I guess I do need to work on my levels, damn. I'm in no rush. I live a simple life. Okay, but this chair is also giving me happiness. So my happiness, I'm such a happy person. I need to go back and socialize. I personally don't want to put anything social in my house because I want to go out, but like you can put social stats and things at home too. Level three is fishing, level four is drugs. Oh gosh. To use drugs or to like, I don't know. We gotta furnish the skybox. Yeah, since y'all vote for that. Can y'all stop voting for that one and vote for the rest? The skybox looks a lot like this, don't be surprised. <laughs> Do they waffles? You know what's funny? I've been trying to unlink. I'm gonna have to just find all that furniture and put it back out. All of that has been linked since the old sim before Bayside. I had it linked and I have not been able to unlink it. But I'll fix that. To create them, you can buy from others. Hey, Misty. That's what's up. So level four, you can create, you can be a drug mule, a drug dealer, a drug supplier. It's up to you. So I'm gonna go over like some of the possible businesses that you can have with Zeal Life. And then I'll show you like open spaces. Oh, Liz, that's what we did. I think we did put social in his chair because he said the same thing. He was like, if I'm at the desk, I might be talking to people. So we put social at his chair. We do love the drug game. I can't wait to see a drug lord. We need a drug lord in Bayside that has like drug dealers that are running around these streets. They need to be selling on corners and like have territory and fight each other if they're in each other's territory. Hey Shallon, how are you? <laughs> to just lose the heist. You know, I'm gonna start the giveaway. Should I start it? And we'll just have it like unnamed to giveaway. I'll give it a few minutes. Okay. I'm gonna take her food to go so we can keep moving. Oops. Keep it moving. For whatever reason, I keep forgetting to save a landmark to where we were. So I'm gonna start at the. <laughs> Did I snort? Out loud? There are no forced shop titles. People can choose to play how they'd like without being forced to do activities. Yeah, exactly. We love that. Did I snort? We're too comfortable together. I do all types of things in front of y'all. Hold on, I'm lagging. I'm a lag because none of my settings are right, y'all. Pardon. Pardon my struggle. Okay, I see y'all coming up with the points. All right. We're gonna get our ass up here, stand next to Sean, and I'm gonna cam around. And let's get into businesses and I'll show you also how to make things. So one thing that's cool, so if you do have a farm, you can make all the things that people need for these recipes. Like, um, oh, snort drugs, okay. <laughs> they have made me lax. Raina was saying that she's been watching my GTA streams like it's a sitcom, excuse me, or a TV show. So I think I'm going to 
what's it called? I'm just gonna, I'm, I don't wanna edit, I don't have time, but I'm just gonna like split it in hours. So that 15 hour stream, I'm gonna split into 15 videos. And we'll just like have a new GTA video every day cause they're getting so long. Okay, I'm glad y'all are here. Do y'all have the HUD? Oh, I also put a HUD giver here. It's gonna be the same thing that we did with Zeo Life. So if you are in Bayside, all this, my story like HUD givers are gonna be at all the bus stops. So this is usually where people land in Bayside, although we've changed it so it's like open routing. You can land anywhere in Bayside, but this is where you can pick up a HUD if you don't have it. Hey, Dime, how are you? Y'all really have me paranoid. I was like, did I snore? Because I am congested right now. I'm like, I may have. <laughs> Okay, blacked out. I don't feel like waiting for this to rise. I have not been able to rest shit today. I'm surprised I can even see people because earlier I couldn't see people. So yeah, back to this. If you have a farm, you can produce like eggs and potatoes and I don't know what else. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I was always, cause Matt, I was trying to like, edit highlight videos and I'm like 15 hours of footage is too much to make a highlight video. So I was like, I'm just gonna release them unedited, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I've already said that Yams. I already stopped by the My Story store and showed them all the stuff there. So basically if you have like a farm or something, you can create different types of produce. There's one girl here who's a great example. I'm gonna use hers as an example and I'm gonna also buy some stuff from her. But she must clearly have a farm. I went to someone's farm the other day that was gorgeous. I wish I would have landmarked it and like gone back to visit. I don't know her like that though. I don't know if she wanted me just breaking in. But her farm was amazing. She had like different, what are those things that pigs are in? Pins? She had pig pins. And she had like chicken areas. And she had cows. I'm like, what? It was crazy. So if you have one of those, you can produce all of these different things. It takes like some time for these things to produce. Like I think I saw to produce like eggs. You have to have your chickens need to be fed and taken care of. And it also like takes 12 hours for them to produce eggs. That's awesome. But then all those things that you produce, I mean, you could use it to cook for yourself or you could just like resell them to people who are lazy like me who ain't about to do all that. Can't stop your dying or not. You just leave you on the floor <laughs> Bayside Medical. We haven't updated Bayside Medical yet. But, um, oh, somebody just rented. I'm res I'll respond to y'all after. <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of people are doing things like this. I don't know. I mean, I like farmer's markets. I like farmer's markets and, um, invisible print box. Girl. <laughs> Welcome to the hood. All right. I know. I love it. And the scripts are modifiable. Like I remember with previous role play systems, we also, we always got hung up on what things look like, but you can take the scripts and put them into different things. Like, I don't know. That's just cool. Like I'm going to buy some of this stuff, but you can tell she's put this, like, I think one of these things is like a desk bunny thing. She put it in really pretty things. So you can make everything like look exactly how you want it to look. Like even the farming stuff, the farming plots, you can put the scripts in whatever you want them in. So if you have another vibe that you're going for, you can like just make it your own. Y'all are working hard. We're here for it. All right. Oh, is this right here? <laughs> Hold on. I'll look at that in a second. What was I talking about? See, this is why I usually don't respond to DMs. I forget what I'm talking about. Yes, Carmen. Like, there's so many business potential. Like, so much business potential. You can have a catering business. Like we said last stream, y'all know Uber Eats is going to be a vibe here because there are people lazy like me who won't want to go anywhere to get food, but I want food. Not use, yeah, that's okay. Can't move the scripts. You can use discrete versions that you can put over cute things. So they're like invisible. Thanks for the correction. Nip knops are showing. <laughs> Cause my viewers are perv. Okay, good call. 
But yeah, either way, you can have really pretty things because there's discrete versions of stuff. So if you go to the store, you see like discrete versions. That's what that means. That it's gonna be a tra it's gonna be transparent, so you can put it on whatever it is that you own and have your own look. I really am getting congested. What do we want to make? I'm gonna make. Should I just make another eggs Benedict? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. I'm gonna get some eggs from her. I just got five eggs. It showed, I think, right? Five eggs for 30 linden. I'm gonna get some potatoes. 35 linden. I want everything. I don't even know what I can make, but I want carrots. Like, I legit feel like I'm grocery shopping. This is so cute. There's lettuce. I don't know what I need lettuce for, but I'm getting it. I'm gonna have a fully stocked refrigerator. We need broccoli, obvi. There's a watermelon. Okay, I need to relax. Is this just like, can I eat that watermelon just like that? But I love this. But yeah, these little booths, they're meant for you to like sell. If you have small, little, quick, easy items that people can pick up, these are also technically signs. If you have like a sign you want to put on here, you can just put a prim over it and make a sign. I'm so sorry to this girl that I'm gonna have to de-render because my viewer is being a perv. She's not naked. It's just me. Was this her? I forgot her name. I forgot how to de-render. Oh, there we go. Sorry to you. Um, What box is in here? There probably is a box in here, low-key, because all these things are linked, and I couldn't unlink them. What's the prem? I could also remove this damn tree. What is this? Oh, child, this don't even need to be in here. Does it need to be in here? Am I going to move this whole building if I move this? I'm afraid. <laughs> Why is this here? Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Just move this, please. Can I just take this off? Can this just not be a part of anything, please? I'm afraid to get rid of it for some reason. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Okay, onward. The chat is tied. My chat was frozen, so now I need to catch up. Hold on. Not the chat, the poll is tied. <laughs> Y'all are warning me, edit links, okay. Video Uber, I'm not gonna do Uber Eats. I'm strongly trying to get y'all to like, snatch up all these ideas. <laughs> you got a discreet fridge? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna check that out. An affiliate object you made. I'm here for that. Oh, Sonia, was that you? I'm so sorry. My viewer is coming for your clothes. <laughs> okay. Wait! <laughs> Did y'all all fall through the floor? <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. Shut up. <laughs> wait. I am crying. I really threw y'all, threw y'all down. Oh, I'm down here with you. At least we're together. <laughs> oh, time, I know. I've been, my Asus laptop works better than my computer. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. Well, since we're in here, if you're at Onyx, you can also come downstairs and go to the bathroom. I finished the bathroom. There's a broken stall. I should put an out of order sign on it, but it's down here. I also put, there's a baby change table if you have like a little kid. I try to think of the parents since I'm one. But that change table is also my story. It'll give your kid continence and hygiene. The stalls will give you continence, I think, and happiness. I'm weird. I enjoy being on the toilet. Wait, there's also a problem on the grounds. Yeah, Choco. So Kaylee just made one. I'm going to look at it. I haven't unpacked it yet. I don't know. My story team, do they expire? I don't think so. Hey, Sean. 
The sinks give you hygiene. I've only just started working on this lounge area. This is meant to be with Vanderworks anyway. This isn't quite open yet anyway. Um, we just wanted a social space for us like corporate baddies to chill out. It's basically like we work, but you know, one of y'all claim up that clever name. They don't expire. We love that. So yeah, things don't expire. Nobu is gonna be my uh, my story. Okay, back to this. I'm really curious to see what she's putting in here. I'm just being so nosy. But yeah, just like Zeolife and other role play systems, you can have restaurants, you can sell produce. Um, there are also, because there are so many different types of stats, you can have all types of businesses. Like I've seen people like creating cleaning supplies, um, just different things to like engage people with the HUD to also help people earn extra XP. Like, I think that's cool. You got a potty, go to the bathroom real, there's one. It's a base I come in. Am I also in black? You know, it's funny, I haven't worn all pink, but today I was like, oh, we gotta do black. I'm here for it. You corporate buddy, Sean? You want a desk space? <laughs> okay. Look at Thana! I have not seen Thana in so long. I see her in chat, but I never see her in world. She's so cute. I'm about to like cheat and like fly up here real quick because how I fought through the floor. I really snatched the floor up from under us. <laughs> I know, yeah, I've seen cute hygiene stuff like toothbrushes. I think I saw, I saw some beauty items somewhere. Ooh, someone should make like a little makeup counter over here. We love our farmer's markets in LA in real life. So I feel like I needed one that's like kind of permanent. Of course, we'll have like the other type of farmer's markets, but you know, I'm gonna sit here and get my, I'm gonna take all my social from Sean. Teddy bear for happiness. She did get the greenhouse. I can't wait to see it. She has all the cool stuff. Wait till y'all see. Wait till y'all see. Okay, but yeah, anyway, promo this week because we want more of my story businesses all of the businesses in the entire city have a free week so go get one if you want one i don't know are we gonna give one away no y'all still want a free skybox y'all just want me to work <laughs> um there are a couple of my story food places like i didn't even know this pizza shop has been here before i even knew about everything so i've been eating pizza I know this is Pylea's taco setup. I'll ask her if she's doing my story. We're just starting to reach out to businesses in the city for a bunch of other stuff and to see if anyone else is my story. If you are already renting here, you're my story, just shoot a message to Zane because we're going to do like a little directory. Um, but yeah, these are free for this week. When you rent a week, it's going to automatically give you another week for free. This little pizza place, I've had this here forever. I don't know if y'all just don't like pizza, but people don't be feeling this place. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, what else is over here? I'm stuck. Ignore my lag, y'all. This building, I think, will be the new Bayside Medical. I think I'm going to get rid of the small one. We'll put it here. I don't know anything about the medical stuff yet. We'll get into that. I was thinking, but since I'm not level three yet, I was thinking of like making a fishing spot over here. Cause like, can we get into the vibe of bougie fishing? Like, can we just fish off the pier? This bougie little pier? I know, I wanna sell drugs so bad. It'll be just like a GTA. Okay. I was also thinking, because don't nobody here play basketball. This could also be like a little community garden, but I don't think it's enough space. Hold on, my mom's cold. She wants me to turn the air off. Before you open a business, you're glad you decided to wait because now you know more now you did it before. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys too how to make stuff. Make a grant for a tattoo parlor so I can finally make one. Oh. I'm here for that. Okay. 
But I mean, if there were like little simple crops, if someone was just like a little potato farmer or tomato farmer, I don't know. I'll figure it out. We don't need this basketball court though. Can you sell special brownies out of the greenhouse? Yeah, girl, sell everything. We have weed shops all over Bayside. Well, not a bunch. This is like the weed shop we've all been using forever. I don't think it's my story. Oh, look at, I lied. There are drug suppliers in town, y'all. Okay. We love all the drugs. We're here for it. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking about that for fishing this little thing for a garden, but what if we also did a little... So you guys know in LA, that area in like Marina Del Rey called Fisherman's Wharf. Wait, you play basketball? I mean, I'll leave it if y'all using it. I know, I think there are a couple people that plan. Um, to do like little markets. I'm blocked out. But this, what if we also made this like a little fishing area? Cause I remember when I first bought this building, there were a bunch of display fish. I feel like it would be cute. There are two little tiny homes right here, but I could set this up to be like a fishing area. I feel like it's cute. It's tucked away. There's jet skis. You know, we need, we need the drugs. Hey Justin, how are you? I am here for the drugs. Do they like animate us? Cause you know, I'm here for that. All right, there's also another restaurant over here that I haven't yet put for rent, but it'll be for rent. Purses, tomatoes, weed, right. I love that new purse. I'll show y'all it. The Bayside Stalker, first of all, I love that there's a stalker. So basically the options and the possibilities are kind of limitless. Um, what I would really think is cool to see, like beyond just like the products, I think getting into role play businesses and like role play services would be cool. Like, I think it was Carmen that said you could always do catering because there are going to be people that just don't like to cook. I ain't, I don't like, I ain't gonna love to cook. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it for the beginning, but then I'm gonna get lazy. I'm gonna want to order, but I just like the interaction of things. So I feel like there'll always be a market for that. Let me show you really quickly how easy it is to make a product. I'm going to make a product with you guys because I told you, I had this thing meshed a year ago and I never, never made it for sale. Yeah, child, there's a stalker in town. <laughs> but yeah, this little place, this is going up. Also free this week. I think everything I set is free for a week. Look at it, someone's being a me. We don't take our Christmas trees down ever. We just wait for the next year to come. But I think, oh, look, I didn't even take this box back. I put the My Story stuff over here. It's going to be at all the bus stops. I'll make sure it's at landing. I haven't updated landing yet. But um, slowly but surely, it's coming along. Another thing in Bayside, like, I like to put them in all the benches. Anywhere you can sit publicly in Bayside is going to be scripted for My Story. We'll also have, like, public bathrooms around town. Also, we, ha we have had this laundry mat in the city forever and have never used it. So... Now we have a reason to use it because you can do laundry. Exactly, Carmen. You know, we're lazy. The bougie, we're too bougie for a farm right now. <laughs> You're gonna stroll over there with your bike and cat in a basket and get a donut. Oh my God, rare. I would love it. First of all, I saw the cutest couple today. They were literally like driving home to home and then rented one. I'm like, how cute was that? No idea how you got that car rezzed out, but like, I love to see it. Yeah, there are all the bus stops. Um, currently we have a market in Little Tokyo, but I would love to see like y'all have your markets. So I might repurpose this. I don't know to what, but it's not really necessary because I know you guys are gonna have markets. What would be cool is if I made all these little things, like my little, like my little story. Well, I was gonna say my little story. My story places. We'll see. I haven't looked at Little Tokyo in a minute. Anyway, let's make an item real quick so I can show you guys the script. Let me close some things on my computer that are unnecessary right now. Like the 76 tabs I have open. 
But I need all these tabs. Okay, I don't need them. I need them. I don't need them. Oh, we're here for it, Nicole. You're in the process of categorizing the cooking tablet option. There's over 100 options by level nine. Ooh. I'm excited. I was wondering like how many recipes you could do. You're turning the photo studio into a supermarket. Oh yes, I'm here for it. I'm so here for that. Like, I think that's what I missed the most about BU was grocery shopping. I remember I didn't even used to cook in BU. I would just want to go grocery shopping with like my little baby. And it's just so cute and fun to do. So can't wait to come see it. Let me res this thing out. Hold on, I need to change the priority of Black Dragon real quick on my computer because it is not, it's not having it. Or is it OBS Studio that's like mad at me right now? Wait, it's on it, so I forgot how to do it. Oh, never mind, I got it. Set priority, we need that to be high. <laughs> Am I gonna crash if I do that? We'll find out. Um, I know, I'm so excited that Kaylee like has a spot here. I'm gonna try out that fridge too. What was that? Sound. What are we doing? Oh, I'm gonna show you guys how to like make a product. So one thing that's easy, if you're not like a mesher or you don't know how to like create things, there are a lot of full perm food items on Marketplace. So say you wanna own a restaurant, but you don't know how to make food. You could just look up full perm stuff on Marketplace. Let me just show you. This is what we used to do for Zeo Life. Like you don't have to be a mesher to get into the business. Granted, we have some talented meshers up in here. Um. I keep losing my chat, but hold on. I'm just share my, no, I'm gonna share Chrome. Nope, not that Chrome. This one, there we go. This showing? It's huge. Okay, workplace. I can only imagine how hard y'all are working right now. Um, need to slide my story food into bubble tea. Just don't know how to keep it separate. I've been trying to sort that out too. I don't know how long I will continue to support Zeo Life. I'm just, I'm gonna gauge it. Like I'll ask, maybe we'll do a little survey in Bayside in like a month and see how many people are still using Zeo Life. I've just been hanging out here for the past few days and asking people if they're gonna switch over, if they're keeping it, cause I've seen a lot of people with the float text. But um, we'll see. Some of these Zeo scripts are a little heavy. But I don't know how to separate it. Let's look at food. What do we, let's just say food. So if you type food into marketplace and then you go down here to permissions, make a copy mod and transfer. That's a full permission item. Zero is giving, I can't cook. So even though I don't know how long I'm gonna be planning on cooking, it's just like, I wanna cook. So these are food items. I have this little piece of, I already, I think um, I've used like, oh look, you have cereal. There's salads. There are a lot of full permission food items. So you could just go through here and determine like what kind of food products you'd wanna sell. You know, I'm gonna sort this from like the newest first. Yeah, right now all those, the things I have Zio, I've just added the My Story stuff. They've been working fine. Um. Look at it, you can have like Valentine's Day stuff. Maybe sorting from newest first wasn't a good plan. But anyway, once you come across like a bunch of items that you'd wanna sell in your restaurant or whatever you wanna do, cause that's what we do at Faith and Flower. I'm not creating things. I don't know how to do that. You just find full permission stuff and make stuff. Um, I did have something mesh last year because I was like, oh, I'm so into food. And I was really getting into Zio back then. So I have a couple items that will, I'll show you how to do. 
uh, in the process of making SL history by making your first RP HUD compatible shopping event. How to make chocolate covered strawberries. That would be cute. Just buy them full perm. I bet there's, you could look it up. I'm just gonna put strawberries and see what options. Yeah, you can, Liz. All of the stools like that are out here right now have both Zeo Life and Story. Okay, I put in strawberry. We're gonna do full perm to see if there are chocolate covered strawberries for Carmen. I don't know, but it's cute. All right, I don't wanna do this, I want relevance. Look at chocolate covered strawberries. Look at these. Look at them. There's these ones. There are so many. So immediately found these. That's like a tray. This one I think looks so cute. They're full permission. So all I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to buy it and show you. Let's minimize that. I'm assuming it'll come to me. Amy Warder. Marketplace is slow for me lately. It hasn't come to me yet. So I'm just gonna show you with my little babels. Let's look at one of my old ones. Let me find. It's funny when I move a body, I just like move everything to that body folder. Oh, we called them sushi bears last year, but we're calling them babels because it's like almost bay day. All right, I'm just gonna rise all this shit out. I'm like, where is up? It's ambitious of me to do this right here where I'm lagging right now. Oh, I got the strawberries. <clears throat> I'm here for that story. So most of the food from your, the cooking is full perm. That's what's up. So you can legit just like also cook a lot of food and create a restaurant that way. That's what I want to do at Faith and Flower. I don't want to cook. I want to hire a couple of chefs though who will cook on demand. Like we'll have a menu based on whatever level you're at and what food you can provide. And people can sit down and actually order food that you can cook. It's like, okay, just a minute. We'll be right with you. Your food will be out in a moment. I feel like that's the cutest thing in the world. So I want chefs. Anyway, these are my babels that aren't res right now. For me, I was trying to figure out, so I have a resized script in the bowls, so I didn't want to put the My Story stuff in the, po the bowls. So I'm going to put it in the chopsticks. Basically what you get, so you buy those affiliate scripts for $19.99. I'll show you what they look like. Oh, they look like this. So this is what you get in the package. You have, these up here are all of the scripts. You have some configuration note cards. I recommend just making a copy of it. So I make a folder for every product that I'm gonna sell. So Babels is gonna have their own. I have three different versions of the Babels. So I'm gonna create a second folder just so I could know what I'm doing. I'm gonna copy just the scripts that I need. So I need, well, the configuration, the My Story Stats configuration and the use script. Those are the two things that you want for items that people use to get stats. Furniture scripts are separate, so that's stuff that you like sit on and get things to go up, like energy and health and all of that. Um, take care, Sean. Yeah, so I feel like it don't even matter. It's fun enough. <laughs> Sonia, if you want a job at Bayside, hit me up. I don't know where to hit me up. I'll figure it out. But, um, so yeah, so within this thing, I would just copy the use script and then copy the configuration. So that's what I'm working with right now. I say that because you can just modify the configuration card and you know it's just for this product. I would start off with configuring the stats note card or the configuration. So this is for the Babels. This is how I set it. Um, the max is 2.5% for hunger or all these stats. It's a little sushi bowl. So I put thirst at zero. 
I gave you a little energy because I'm like, there's green stuff in here. Maybe you get like a little excited when you eat. Hygiene, zero. Continence, I put zero. If this was a drink, I could always put like a negative something so you could like, you know, be draining your continence as you drink, but I didn't. I put happiness at 1.5 because it's a babel and it's cute as fuck. Like if I was eating this, I would be like so happy. Social, I put at zero. I might put something in social though because like it's a babel. No, it doesn't need to be social. That makes no sense. You just be with your bae. Number of uses. I might increase that. We'll see. But anyway, you set up the configuration, how many points you want to increase while people are consuming it um, and how many uses you want. That's basically what this configuration note card is. Then what you also need to do is go into the script, go to properties. You have to make sure that it's on um, like transfer. No, nope. Take off copy, transfer only. <laughs> Cause you want it to be like a single use thing. So they can't make copies of it. So make sure you change the script to transfer only before you put it in your item, just to make your life easy. I'm gonna script the chopsticks because I don't know. I don't want it fighting the resize script when people click it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag my configuration note card over. I've already scripted, so the chopsticks already have an animation in them. That's another thing. If you're getting full permission items, a lot of them are animated. So you want to just find different animation scripts. There's there a ton of them on Marketplace. I can link some in the description. But um, put in the configuration card, put in the My Story script. If you have done it correctly, your local chat will confirm all the things. If you haven't done it correctly, it's going to tell you. But see, it's telling me everything that I selected in my configuration. So that is good to go. I'm gonna take these back into my inventory. But look how cute they are, shut up, right? For me, I have a decor version and I have the hold version. I'm absolutely obsessed. obsessed. I love them. Okay. I'm just gonna take, once you've configured everything, just take it back into your inventory. I'm gonna take, take, take. Let me take you. Exactly, waffles. If I'm eating, I'm happy. You joined the other day. It is so fun. Okay. Let me open a second inventory window because I confused myself. Okay, let me find those things I just took back. I'm sure they went to that old folder and I don't want to confuse myself. So I'm gonna go to recents. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna take these four that I just made. I'm just gonna drop them in my little folder. I am going to make a copy of them too because I don't know, I don't want to consume the ones that I am gonna sell later on. Oops. Oops. But I'm gonna put the chopstick on. Let's stand up. Let's look at me do this. Yeah, it's super easy to do. So you can always do like bunch a bunch of them at once too. Alright, so this is the chopstick. That's actually what we're gonna use to consume food. Let me take the millions of things in my hand out. Am I still hungry? A little bit. I'm gonna take this burger off. I'm looking cute today. It's the first time we've looked at me. Sushi dish, I'm gonna wear it. If you have the decor one, you can just like put it out on the table in front of you. It just has no scripts in it, so you can res it out. And this is my vibe. Mine, I didn't put eating animations because I like all my stuff's gonna look like I'm a bougie bitch. That's just what it's gonna look like. But if you click the chopstick, that's when you can start using it. So it's telling you exactly what stats, give me. It's telling you what stats here. You can hit use and she's gonna start eating that. There are so many possibilities. Like I really try not to influence what you guys do with the businesses here. Like there are a couple, I'm gonna show you a couple of buildings that are just like, completely blank canvases you could do absolutely whatever you want with them and i think that's cool i'm gonna look at some of the businesses that are here too it's gonna take me a minute to read y'all y'all know the struggle the cleavage is popping oh 
right to, come right to, come right to. The first time I ever met Sean was like six months after I had these products and I was like, maybe I'll make a poster for them. And he was around and that's how we met. Cause I was like, can you take a picture of me? Oh, an ice cream shop, I would love that. You know, it's funny, this little, there's an ice cream car over here. And I was like, it would be cute if someone sold ice cream and like made each of the little flavors, like a little vendor that people could click on and get different flavor ice creams. Okay, I'm taking forever to res, but you get it. So it's all scripted. She's eating it. I have 13 uses left. My hunger is going up. It's at 99 now. I did the same for that little can that I was holding earlier. I just got a full permission can off marketplace. I put a hold animation in it and I tossed in the affiliate script from my story. And now I can sell that. So I can put that out in like an area like this. I can get a store, I can get a restaurant. You can do whatever. You can sell it on Marketplace if you want to. She has some of her stuff on Marketplace as well. So it's really easy. Um, but I would definitely encourage people to get really creative with role play. Like even if you don't want to create items, you want to create a service. Like I really think, I think Uber Eats would kick off here. I think if it was even a grid wide Uber Eats, I think it would kick off. Like if I could put in an order and you go wherever, like you have a menu and you go wherever and get me my things, I would love that. Oh, you have an ice cream parlor? You added uses? I did add uses. I think I added 15. The max is 25. I might put it on the max. It's a little tiny bowl though. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's pinned at the top. Y'all still, can y'all break this pole tie so we can end it? And I, by break, I mean, can you ask for a free business for a month? I'm gonna let you choose the business. Like it could be a farmer's market booth over here. It could be a food truck if you want. It could be a whole restaurant if you want. We also have Abbott Kinney that has two rentals available. I'm gonna show you what Lana did with one of these so you can see, you can see what's possible. Like the space looks small when you first look at it, but like, wait till you see this. Um, How do I do what, sorry. Wait, what did you ask? Oh, add it uses, it's in the configuration note card in your affiliate scripts. So if you buy the affiliate scripts, let me see, I'm gonna show you. It comes with a configuration note card and this is where you configure exactly what stats you want in it. And then all the way at the bottom, it says number of uses, the max is 25. So you could change this number here. Yes, Liz, you should. And then keep an eye out. Like I know Kaylee is making a market. Um, I know there's like a little bodega that's being set up. So there might be even more places to put that if you don't want to keep in the market because little Tokyo low far out. <laughs> I gotta show you all Lana's restaurant. I think I've showed it on one sim before, but like I'm obsessed. Also Big Bear is still Zeolife. I'm gonna make it for my story. Um, I just need to, you know, change all the products over. But Big Bear is like a fitness studio. You could res out different type of fitness equipment and you could have like little gym classes. Y'all are working quick. Everything's moving so quick. I love it. But also I'm slow. <laughs> I think my priority right now is making the public places in Bayside compatible for my story. And then I want to start sharing your businesses like on the channel, on socials. And for all the My Story businesses, I wanna make sure we have a very easy teleport. I know, I remember you had your cooking stuff here. Look how full circle, you had your cooking spot here and now you have a whole system and people renting that same spot are using it. We'd love to see it. <laughs> you wanna see more weed? <laughs> yes, weed and sweets. Someone please make like a sweet shop or a bakery. I need some like my story macaroons. Those are, th I don't eat those things in real life. So I like to eat them in second life. I don't like pastries in real life, but I really love bakeries. I need to, I need to be like the biggest keto cheat. I needed to have breads and goodies and chocolates, all the things I don't eat in real life. I remember 
a story also had the when he first came out with cooking stuff it was on the other sim on what was that vine street i forget what the name of the street is exactly crystal you're gonna love it especially the cooking like I had a little like home date with someone and I was just like, we're cooking in his little apartment and it was cute. And I was like, how cute is this? That's cute. You can be like, hey, come over. I'm gonna kick and chill. Let me cook dinner for you. Let's cook together. Let's have a cooking class. Oh, that was the other thing I was thinking about for the pier. I was like, what if we make this kind of, you know how like there are community spaces where you could just like book the space and offer whatever. I'm like, people could offer a cooking class, just something to do together. There's the pottery thing, the zeal life pottery thing that I saw. Was that Rivian's? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I look at too many things at once. Y'all know I'm struggling to rise. But the salted rim is dope. Let's open this door. It's such a cute, like, little chill spot. She went in. Like, I have never seen someone make better use of prims <laughs> and small space. It's like such a cute little LA spot. I'm obsessed with it in here. And there's like more space back here. Like, shut up, shut up. It's so cute. But, um, let's see, I need to make posts about all these places. Excuse me. There's one spot right here open. So if we do this business giveaway, not the furnished skybox winning. Can y'all just like let the business win? Okay, yes. That pottery set is dope. We're gonna have a pottery class at some point. But yeah, this one's open. And there's one across the street open. I haven't cleared it out from the last renter yet, but because I really want to go buy those mannequins. I've never seen them before. But this one's open too. The chair is slide out. Shut up. But yeah, endless possibilities. What do you guys want to do now? I'm like so curious to see what y'all are doing. I'm like just spying. I want to see her set up. Look at these cute little things. Also, I could fully remove that tree. I just was like, it would be cool to have a tree. Oh no, it's because the tree was there before I put the building down. And I was like, cute, I'm leaving it. Who else just rented a little booth? I wanna see it. I'm gonna come spy on what y'all are doing in the market. It's the way. <laughs> it's really me trying to influence the poll. Like, no, 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 get a free business. You can make money. We should go make money doing at home. And the way I remember our original goal for Bayside is for people to be able to make enough money to pay for whatever rentals they have. So like if you have a house here, you could also either have a business or work at someone's business and then, you know, make your rent. All right, perfect. That's how swift they are moving. I'm gonna get this to res one day, don't worry. <gasps> Soul food, oh my goodness. Can y'all, can someone have a soul food restaurant so I can have me some like mac and cheese, sweet potatoes? I know Carmen, there's just so many, there's so many possibilities. I think sometimes it's hard to come up with ideas. If y'all need ideas, if you just want a My Story business and you legit are blanking on ideas, comment that on this video or like say it in Discord. I'm also reorganizing the Bayside Discord. Right now it's so GTA. I haven't even looked back at it, but um, we're gonna have a lot of, a lot of things, resources for you. So if you just don't have an idea, but you want to do something, I'm telling you. <clears throat> so there's no My Story dollars, not to my knowledge. You use Linden's to purchase My Story things. That's how you can actually like make money. Um, everything's so inexpensive though. Like I literally went and got a soda earlier. It was two L's. But yeah, it's real Linden's. So like if you have a My Story business, you're earning real money. Kiss my grits, kiss my grits wins, Carmen. We have to see it. RPS Big Bertha, yes, queen. <laughs> yeah, bet, Crystal. Maybe like in the Bayside OOC chat in Discord, just say like you want to open a business, you need ideas, because maybe we'll all link up and like brainstorm together. I love kiss my grits. 
I think Kaylee's nip knops are on my screen. It's not her, it's me. Look at them already setting up. So there's gonna be a market here. Bubble tea is right here. So this is where she's gonna put her stuff. I wanna go try out that fridge. So I'm gonna actually TP home and try it out. Oh wait, there are my story dollars. Wait, every level up $5, they can be exchanged at the store for a 150 gift card. What? I didn't know that. Five my story dollars for a 150 gift card. That is amazing. So every time you level up, you get my story dollars. So basically you get 150. Look, keep leveling up. You won't even have to pay for your affiliate scripts. Wait, can you use them for affiliate scripts? What do you use the gift cards for? I know. That's the other thing. The more businesses are there are, more people who don't want a business but want to work and do that kind of role play have opportunities to do so. So it's like really such an involved community, like system. That's what we love about it. <laughs> it might even be cool for some of y'all who are like super skilled at all this my story stuff. Like have a little class. Um mm. Raina has a good idea. So if you if we do the business, if y'all stop voting for the skybox, we'll give away the business and an, a pack for affiliate scripts. So if you haven't bought them yet, we're gonna do a free business for a month and the affiliate scripts. I'll gift them to you. So get to vote in. Go tag your friends. Share it. Tell them to come vote. <laughs> um I want to a really fun. Remember when that Vegas sim was open? I went to a really fun cooking class. I don't remember what role play system they were on, but that was fun. I'm great, Johnson A, how are you? Do you have to be a certain level to open a business? No, cause you could start like the way I just made this bowl. I'm a level one, I just started. And I made this bowl, I can sell this bowl. It's giving out stats. I could also cook and sell what I cook. Oh, you can't change your votes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna restart the poll. I'm not cheating. <laughs> I was going, nah, I feel like I'll feel bad. You just got in, you're so lost. You were in college, you just got back. Awesome. The video will be up, so you'll be able to see it. You were there. You were there. That's where I met you the first time. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, so up here, can we introduce Onyx? Onyx was like the baby that I never had a use for because we couldn't really do much. But Onyx is meant to be like a little social hangout. At first we were really gonna make it like a members only like social rooftop, but it's completely public. The whole Sims public, you can come here for whenever. But I really feel like we needed a space to flex and get our stats up. So all the seating is my story and Zio, but these little tables, I gotta re-res them because I can't unlink them. They've been linked for centuries. I don't even know what they're called. I'm gonna have to find them again. But um, yeah, these chairs give happiness. I didn't know what was gonna be in here. So I didn't want them to like compete with whatever the stats was for sale in the greenhouse. These other like little, there's a gnat in here. These little loungy chairs give you energy. So I'm like, imagine if you're working, you just go up to the roof to get like a little nap in. Can we link the in world one day? Can we link? Like be friends? Child, come right now. This is the only time I'm on. <laughs> I don't talk to people in worlds unless like they're in role play with me. So I'd recommend just come in. Grab and go kind of girl, yes. Let me delete my ghetto box. Um, what else? Me, I'm really like desiring a corporate baddie role play here. I think it's because I just miss being in office in real life, but I also refuse to go work in office in real life. But um, we have, oh shit, Sharia, you can. You could put like scripts into your cars and stuff. That's clever. Okay. Um, shit, hold on. Yeah, for sure. Come to Bayside. That's where I hang out. That's where I am. But yeah, Vanderwerk. 
I feel like how cute would it be if we're all working and just getting our social up? This is meant to be just like a shared workspace. And this is the little break room. I might put like, oh, this would be a cute place to put the fridge. Let me TP down here. I made it my story. <laughs> Loki, that's how it was when I started base side. I was like, y'all meet each other. You don't need to meet me. Cause I just be here AFK. Am I stuck behind the chair? The hips? Oh. This is the Vanderwerk break room, AKA lounge space. I think that big lounger over there gives you social. Just in case you're alone and you do need something. But that's how I was. Like, I was like, if I'm logged in, I'm usually working. If I'm logged in and on stream, that's me playing. So if I'm not streaming, I'm not playing, I'm working. Wait, I wanna see this refrigerator situation. Oh, here it is. So this, Kaylee made this. Yeah, see, I knew this floor was playing games. Do you know how much I got going on when I log on? <laughs> Who made my fishing wall? I'll look, I pieced it together. It's like a few different things. I don't think it was meant to be a wall. But you know me, I'm gonna tear some shit apart. I think I took the fish out of a tank and stretched it. Um, I should read instructions. I don't though, let me see. Oh, that's, an, uh, that's a change log. Food, drink, unsorted. I'm that person. That's why I create videos for other people who don't read. Let me, um, am I resing it? Quick start, we like that. Make sure you have your group tag active, smart, before you res. To avoid items asking for permissions to attach each time, you wanna auto attach something from the add-on. Add the best SL life experience to your land. Oh, do we need that? Do we have it? Where do I find that? We don't. We should add that. Okay, we don't have it, we'll find it. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually like floating on sky working. Um, so we gotta find that. All right, set up. Res the add-on in, yeah, in front of your refrigerator. This. and position it where it won't stick out when the door is closed. The add-on's mod so you can resize it in edit mode. Did it res? Is that visible? Two miniature pets. <laughs> oh, it's here, okay. Does not matter which direction it's facing. We're gonna open the fridge doors and just like put it in front. This makes it so you can like retrieve your My Story items. Like you can put stuff in this. And like meals you cook, if I'm correct, yeah, yeah. Kaylee, where do we find this to buy it? Okay. Boom. Step two. We're satisfied with the position. And then we're gonna what? We're gonna, oh, just click it. And go to the owner tab. I'm gonna put this out so you can see it. Click the owner tab and hit hide. It's gone. 
And then your existing refrigerator's contents will show through. If you ever want to view the add-on again, simply click show. What was in this menu? We haven't added anything. You can put all your stuff in here. Wait, what is this stuff? It really gave me food? There's food in here. She's eating it. <laughs> Let's put down the Babel if I can catch her hand. Oh my God, there was pancakes in the fridge. Oh my gosh, I'm, and it has like different uses. Okay, that's dope. All right, let's see. You can set it to owner, public, or group use. You can also take inventory of which food is left in your add-on. Okay. Step forward, now you're ready to eat or drink. Okay. That is amazing. Your item, your add-on comes pre-stocked with 24 food or drink items. When your add-on is running low on a food or drink, refill bags are available at the best SL Life main store located on the My Story Sim in a variety of categories. This is so cool. <gasps> There's keto options. Purchase only what you like to eat or drink. This is so cute. You can purchase refills. You can also add your own food items into the add-on. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm here for it. You can add the my story food you cook. I'm adding all my food. I'm gonna cook in bulk. I'm gonna meal prep. We could do a whole meal prep stream. Okay, adding your own food. To add your own food, right click your add on, choose edits. Once in the edit menu, go to the content tab and drag the items to your add-on. You should see the items in your add-on unsorted menu. You'll only see them in the menu once, regardless of how many copies are in there. Once all the items are gone, the button will disappear. Unsorted items must have transfer permissions if you wish to allow to send them to people using the add-on who are not the owner. And it's that easy? Should we go cook something and put this in the fridge? Shut up. I'm overwhelmed. Is there, is there a stove right here? No. Let's go cook something really quick. I guess I could put the babel in there. But I don't want to. I'm gonna go cook something and put it in the fridge. Detach. Save these for later. Go break into Sean's house. Um. <laughs> I want, I still want Instacart service. You don't need to order a food, you have a fridge stocks. I, I'm gonna still order everything. I know, meal prepping together, that would be fun. I love it. It's so fun, you should play. I'm ending this poll and I'm giving you a business. <laughs> I feel like it's just, it's a better option. The sky boxes are small as hell. There's not even a big one left. You're getting a business. I'm looking out for your best interest. Let's start the giveaway. I'm so late to this. I'm gonna do a points giveaway and then we're gonna start the giveaway. So you can enter. While I cook this meal and go put it in the fridge. I'm on the wrong website. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Oh, shit. What is this? <laughs> we didn't finish that last giveaway. Free business plus affiliate scripts. Enabled biz plus affiliates. Add, start giveaway. Get ready for a point giveaway really quick. Right, Dana, I'm nervous for you. <laughs> um, let's do a points giveaway. So 
So if y'all, okay, if you are new here, if you've never done a giveaway on the channel, basically you use your channel points to enter the giveaway by buying tickets. So you can check your points by doing exclamation points to see how many you have. If you have at least 20, you can get one raffle ticket. So the cost of one raffle ticket is 20 points. I'm about to do a points giveaway to give everyone 5,000 points. And then you just enter the raffle in, you know, multiples of 20. And to enter the raffle, you do exclamation raffle space how many tickets you want. All right. But for this points giveaway, drop your favorite emoji so Streamlabs knows you're here. And then I'll give everyone 5,000. And it's, it's a gamble. You'll just pray they come to you because Streamlabs, you never know. <laughs> And I'm going to cook. Oh, I have all those new ingredients that I can load in. So I just went shopping for all that produce. I'm going to show you guys how to add that too. I know Thana is playing you now that you're so high. I wonder if there's like a max on points. What are we doing? Blacked out. Is this watermelon for me to eat? Or for me to add to my, add to my HUD? I received five watermelon and I can delete it from my inventory because we're going to be good about keeping this shit out of our inventory. We're going to add the lettuce. Who started a heist? <laughs> Look at everyone's emotes are coming through. I changed my YouTube settings. Let's add the carrots. So these are all the items that I just bought from Honey's Little Farmer's Market table or her little Onyx table. And they're adding all the items to my HUD so I can cook with them. And she must have a farm because she created all these. I'm gonna meal prep some dinner. Oh, I, did I eat that burger? Yeah, I think I ate that burger. I was gonna say, I could've put that in the fridge. Did we get the broccoli? Okay. And now let's hit our menu. Kitchen. What have we not made? We haven't made fries. Let's make salad. Do we have all the stuff we need? One tomato, two lettuce. We have that, yeah. We just shopped for all those things. Checking for ingredients. We have all of the quantities we need. The song is over, so I'm gonna give you guys your points now. I'm losing my voice. I feel like I haven't even been yelling. Strange. Okay, hold on. Let me give you points. I'm gonna refresh. We're gonna add points to all users. 5,000, all viewers. It's queued up, give it a couple seconds. I think it's working. Stream Elements has 17,000 points. <laughs> How? All right, check out points in a couple of seconds. Oh wait, I wanna be animated. I'm mac making my salad. I know, I'm fingers crossed y'all get them. Come 
come through with the 80 chat right we see you okay checkpoints checkpoints <laughs> Ooh, I skipped some of y'all. <laughs> We're already seeing a throw shade. Damn, Adonis. Adonis is rich. Wait. Damn. Oh, my food's done. I'm dying at that, that emoji choco. <laughs> Did I get it? Wait, you earn, do you earn experience for doing things or is that just good timing that I finished cooking and I got that? How do you earn XP? Is it just from having the HUD on or is it, when you actually do activities. I can't tell if that sends me or not. I missed it. Let's cook again. We want another salad anyway. We're meal prepping. Do we still have enough? Yes. You get X, one XP per hour having it on. Also from cooking and harvesting. Oh, that's what's up. If you didn't get them, check in like another minute or so. Sometimes it's a little slow, but sometimes it does just play you. That's what's up. I'm gonna cook all the time. I just lied about that then. I said I wasn't gonna cook that much. <laughs> I'm about to be busting down in the kitchen in my heels and my tight little mini skirt. Um, yes, Ray, but I don't think you have enough for 200. Check your points first. Oh shit, you did have enough. I lied. You have 200 tickets. <laughs> Looking for the loyalty. Damn, it's Carmen being rich. Okay, I see y'all tickets coming in. Every time y'all use one of my little Mila emojis or emotes, I'm like, damn, I really need to order more. I think we have like 20 slots up to, at this point. We need 20 more emotes. <laughs> You got a bunch of points. Okay, fantasy's still up there. I'm here for it. All right, we got three seconds. Tell our salad's done. And don't don't forget, if you um enter the giveaway, just stick around. Because if you win, I'm gonna need you to put your second life user name. It's not sending to me for some reason. I'll take the little thing just in case so I can put something in the fridge. I don't know why the salad's not coming. Okay. We're gonna go back to Onyx though, where I still have not saved the landmark. Oh, I could just take the, I pinned it. It's my pinned comment here that I can't click on for some reason. Okay. What? 
Take me where I want to go. There we go. It can take a little time to come. Okay. That's not where I want to be. I want to be in, the, in front of the refrigerator. <laughs> Wait. Cam's it. I'm lazy. Oh, there's cuddles on this little sofa. Saucy. Oh, child, I'm lagging. Okay, putting this into my fridge. All I gotta do is right click the thing that you get from Kaylee's shop on the My Story Sim. I got these little things. I got one of these so I can throw it in here. Did that go in? There it is. I have to wait for it to wink at me. And then I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna go into unsorted. And it's here! And it gives it to me. I love this. <laughs> I really am gonna like cook a bunch of food and throw it in there. Um, for So for my stories, you get the HUD and foods, then live where you want. Just make sure to take care of yourself. Yeah, basically. Does the kitchen stove look like a recording studio? <laughs> that skybox kind of looks like a recording studio. Gonna pop in tomorrow, it's so fun. I love that and it gave it back to me, but I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. I wanna set this to group so y'all can use it. I don't think we have group joiners anywhere in the city, do we? <laughs> I'm gonna still set it to group. Wait, can I just change? Is it gonna be the group that the object's set to? All right, boom. If y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna load this up with food all the time. This is in our little shared office break room. Y'all can steal people's food. Adonis killed y'all. I love that. It's so clever. All right, I'm gonna clicks it back to the roof. What's my health looking like? I mean, not my health, my social. <gasps> it's so high! Oh my god, being around you guys pays off. I should have actually kept um kept that drink. We thirsty. Alright, so you got the affiliate scripts during last stream, but you don't have the held item scripts used for your own. You can get those on marketplace. Um let me look for the store. I'll link it. I got mine from marketplace. You did a reason when did you do the read delivery? Because earlier Casper was being funny. Let me see. For the whole script, you also need something full permission. Let me see if I can find the one that I've used. There's like that one store that sells all of them. I don't remember what the store was called. My recent one. Was custom, so I don't remember where the other ones were from. <laughs> what did Adonis do? Did she win the heist? Where is the script that I'm looking for? Do y'all know where it is or what the store is called? It's on. Oh, here it is. 
LG, LDG. I'll link the store. This is where I got all mine from. And by the looks of some of the animations that I see on the products I'm buying, this is where a lot of people got them from. <laughs> My avatar has the audacity to have to go to the bathroom. So that's where I got the hold animations. That should help you out. This is so cute though. Oh my God, look at, look at it. <gasps> Shut up, is it a bakery? <laughs> Ciao. My ass is gonna be up here all day long, getting unlimited donuts every single day. I'm gonna just keep eating. No wonder my character stays in the bathroom or my avatar stays in the bathroom. This is so cute. I need this to res. This is the cutest. Look at these treats. I love the vibe. I love a greenhouse like bakery. I'm obsessed. Look at these donuts. Is this what Rare was talking about? She knew about the donuts before I realized? I know, I'm sorry, I'm spying early. I have bad habits. Okay, y'all, I hope this was helpful. I feel like I'm clearly very invested into this. I'm gonna continue playing for the rest of the night. Usually I hop on a GTA role play and go over there, but I'm gonna role play in second life for the rest of the night. I mean, we can keep it going. Oh, I'm not ending anything. We have a giveaway. <laughs> but um, all these little booths, they are available to rent. When you rent it, it's gonna give you a free week as well. So there's a free week. That promotion is just gonna go on for this week. I don't know, we'll end it next Wednesday, the day after Valentine's Day. So get your shit together before Valentine's Day, by the way. No, don't rush, you know, take your time. Do what you gotta do. Um, you can rent from the sign. You can also use this little sign for your spot. So just like put a prim with your own texture over it and it'll be like your own little sign. Also come hang out here and check who's putting stuff out. This is a little produce spot, so that's useful. I'm gonna show you guys the businesses real quick right now. If you're entering the giveaway, please take note because I'm gonna ask you exactly what business you want or if you just want me to choose for you, just say that. If I choose for you, I'm gonna choose this pizza spot. Cause like, why ain't nobody ever using that pizza spot? You mean the scripts that story made? Oh, does he have animation scripts? Oh, none for food. I feel you. Okay. So your options for this giveaway, you can get an Onyx booth. Those are the things up here. Or you can get a food truck. We have two left. Is this one? Greenland. Greenland. Or this one. Hot wings. Greenland or hot wings food truck. You have slice pizzeria. Which is, this is on its own parcel. So you can also control the parcel settings for this. So if you have a stream that you want, whatever you want, we'll rename the whole parcel to whatever your business is. Like this is your own parcel. There's little porta potties back there that I need to set for my story. But yeah, this is Slice Pizzeria. What else do we have? There is a little spot in Little Tokyo that I've never opened up. Oh, there's a spot I've never opened up. There's a little Asian restaurant back here. It's not available for rent right now, but I can make it available. <laughs> it's in the cut. It's like a little ramen restaurant. Let me show you. You might, Supreme, last stream, the person who only had 20 tickets won. And there were people in there with hundreds of tickets. It's, it's random. Right, Carmen? You get all the things. All right, this little place is in the cut. But like, you know we're gonna do stuff with otaku with drugs we're gonna put a shit ton of drugs in otaku like the hard drugs there's gonna be coke up there that's why i want all the coke dealers to convene yeah you have to be like deep in the role play but also this sim never used to have direct teleporting it has direct teleporting now so you can always share a landmark and 
we can share this landmark on social too. So if someone uses it, we can still promote it with a direct landmark. The sim wasn't configured like that before, but it is now. If it reses. All right, so y'all taking notes if you entered, because I'm gonna need you to tell me what you want, and what you want me to choose. All right, look, I don't feel like waiting for this. You know what's funny? In this restaurant, I have the first, remember when Story first made the cooking stove for Zio? I have it in here. I never, <laughs> I never finished setting up, but like that was gonna be this restaurant. So it's still like lurking in here. Look, it's like a, it's a historical piece of, some, this is history right here. The throwback story kitchen. Okay. Oh, you know, I'm zoomed. Um, yeah, anything I have right now, I'm keeping Zeo Life and my story. So it'll be split. I saw people in Bayside that were still rocking with Zio, so we're gonna keep it. I'll pulse check in like a month or so. Anyway, that's the ramen shop. I don't feel like waiting anymore. There's also a shop here that I forgot about, so I gotta put the promo on that one. But that's a shop. Um, I also never made this for rent over here, but like it can be, because I ain't never gonna do anything with it. It used to be Mila's Cafe. I think it still says Mila's Cafe, but it don't need to be Mila's Cafe. So this little cafe by Runyon is another option. You just took your old stove up. <laughs> I'm mad I still have it in there. I have not even thought about that little place this whole time. This is gonna take forever to rest. I can take all that shit out of there. But this is a little, I don't know. It could be whatever you want it to be. It's just over here next to Runyon. There's like a hiking trail up there. That's what's back here. And this bomb ass house. I always forget about this house. Y'all need to start throwing house parties or dinner parties. I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to eat all the time. There's this one that's over here, like the one that Lana has. Do they live here? Is this your home? Maybe. Um, oh, there's also this business. Oh, wait, wait, the big one, we'll call it the big Abbot Kinney. This is the smaller Abbot Kinney. <laughs> so now someone leaving there a toddler. I did, I forget about everything. Honestly, I'm only just getting active again in Second Life. There's also this little thing. This little pier thing, but if we make this like a little fishing area, I might make that a little chic fish spot. Oh, we also have, I mean, I'm not gonna show y'all that one because I want to change it. There's the little beach bar too. I forget this exists. Little beach bars over here. It's not rising, but you know, it exists. And then we have, there's two Wilshire businesses. This is in the apartment building. There's a bunch of apartments above you. And there's two different businesses over here. So these are Wilshire. And then there's the infamous BUFC. <laughs> Boofk. That brought a shop looks dope. They're gone though. I need to return it, but I really love those mannequins. So I'm attached. So BUFC or the little deli restaurant. So this is an option. It's not for rent yet, but I can make it for rent. And that's it. Oh wait, there's one more I can show you. I haven't finished the monarchy stuff or the things on the monarchy sim. There's a whole new little metropolis brewing over here. There's new apartments coming. I'm trying to make this restaurant look more chic and less ugh. And there's a bunch of little, like there's the snack bar here. I don't feel like waiting for it to rise. There's a little yeah. pink building. There's this after hours. It's like a little restaurant spot. But you know what else could be technically a business if you're like a drug lord? We still have the basement down here. 
I feel like this is a crime basement. Like this shit goes down in here. This should be a drug lab. This is where it should all be created. Right? Smoothies on the beach. So there's the basement. You could also get that. All right, I'm gonna get a winner. You tell me what you want and your second life username. <laughs> Hold on, let's get my cam back to me. My poor suffering laggy cam. In the basement where? Oh yeah, you went to that basement for a minute because you were our drug lord. You were like the introduction to the hard drugs. Damn, my viewer don't like Sean. Oh, he's coming in. All right. How are my stats looking? She needs to pee. She's thirsty again. Oh, thirsty beach. Remember we did that robbery and we got shot up in that basement? <laughs> Homegirl killed all of us. All right. Shall we get a winner? Lots and lots of options. If you need to see, if you win and you need to see anything again, don't be afraid to ask. Just let me know. Are we ready? Has everyone entered that wants to enter? Drugs really can be anything. And I think there's a lot of full perm drugs on Marketplace too. Story had me snorting coke at the monarchy because I put it out over there. <laughs> All right, close entries, we ready? And we're picking a winner. Waffles, <laughs> yay. All right, Waffles, let me know, one, your Second Life username, and two, which business you want. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, what today is this? What day is this? Oh, Sunday's gonna be busy, by the way, guys. We have equal 10 and access. I'm doing them both in one day because Moving forward, I'm only gonna be streaming on Wednesdays and Sundays. So we're doing both equal to and access on the same day. And then we have two Monarchy Valentine's Day parties on Sunday. We have one at noon, and then we have one at 6 p.m. Second Life time. So keep that in mind, get your outfits in order because we're gonna show out. Okay, so I got your name and then what business? One of the little Tokyo ones. Let me cam over there. So there's the noodle shop or like, I don't know what's called that other one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one, I've seen this as so many different things. This was the first one to ever rent this. It was a tattoo parlor by Stikes. And she used to make, she's the one that made our custom Bayside tattoo that I still wear. So this one is just like a little shop. I think this was a restaurant at one point. Like there's been so many different things in there. And then the second option is the noodle shop, which has finally rised. I can show you inside. So it's got like the little bar. I'll remove the old story, <laughs> the old story stuff in there. This space is tight, FYI. It's gonna be a tight space. I've always seen this area set up as the kitchen. And then there's like the two tables and the stools. I think I can remove these two if you want me to. Yeah, I can clear all this out if you want. But it's a tight space. So let me know. The little noodle shop, okay. So I need to set a rental up for that. I haven't set that up yet. So I'll do that, but I'm gonna go get you the affiliate scripts right now. And then when we get off stream, I'm gonna set up the rental and then I'll DM you once it's all set. Oh, you have it? <laughs> All right, well, since you have it, should we pick another winner? We could do a second winner and give the affiliate scripts away. Okay, but let's do a second winner. 
All right. Adonis! <laughs> Adonis, do you have the affiliate scripts already? Oh my God, I'd be really excited to see what Adonis will come up with for a business. I feel like it would be popping. Do you want the scripts to go to Adonis or Monesha? What about wig? Okay, I'm gonna get you them. I gotta see what's happening here. <laughs> Watch her just be standing normal. Yeah. This viewer plays games. Okay, let me go. I basically make the Bayside My Story commute every hour. Oh my God, yay! I can't wait, you know I'm gonna be there. I want to eat all the noodles. My beer is frozen. Adonis won, so Waffles won the business, but she already has the script, so I'm gonna gift Adonis the business. This is them, right? Oh, my salad came! <laughs> if things are just real slow, if we come here, does it just come faster? Okay, we're gonna gift. Adonis, submit, pay, boom, direct gift, accept, I didn't save a landmark, oh wait, it's here though. Oh, it's here. Follow me. out here y'all this was fun i cannot wait to see all the creations you guys have i still want to like explore like i said i've been checking out people's farms y'all are y'all are getting creative we are going to do a farmer's market soon so get to making stuff when we do farmer's markets it's basically like a little temporary thing we usually keep it out for a couple hours we like I like to make it look like a farmer's market. So I set up tables and stuff. I'll like block off a street in Bayside or we'll do it in the parking lot at the Monarchy. We'll probably do it in Bayside. The resin's easier. But um, be on the lookout for that. I'm redoing the Bayside Discord, but just use my Discord for now. Um, if you are in Bayside and you didn't just run today, if you've already had an existing business and you have my story stuff, be sure to send Zane a message because we're making a couple of different ads for everyone. And then if you need a business in Bayside, they're free this week. So come and get one. You just have, well, kind of. It's like, I guess buy one, get one free. Rent a week, then you get a week for free. But yes, this was fun, you guys. I hope you guys come hang out. This is Onyx. I'll put all the landmarks and stuff in the description. But yeah, I had fun. I'm gonna continue to role play for the night. I'm role playing here tonight instead of GTA. That's a different vibe for me. 
But you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Again, do not forget. So Friday, I'll be live on Twitch. And then Sunday, I will be live. It's a busy day Sunday. It's going to be equal 10 and access. And we have two monarchy parties. So get your sleep. Don't stay up all night Saturday. We have a busy day Sunday. And all those outfits that we wear, we can come flex at Onyx and show them off. But <laughs> you guys, oh shit. Oh, you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I will see you very soon. Bye. Yeah.